Hi and welcome to another video. Uh, in this video we're going to look at creating a start stop button or an on off button and there's the button there and it's quite simple really all we do is we press this to start um, now it's started so it's showing a green color and then it's showing the text press to stop so when we press the stop we've stopped and we're showing a red color just like you get an off button on on machines and things like that so that's what we're going to do and here is the flow to do it and what I'm doing here is I'm controlling a gate this is a very useful node and I'll try and do a video on the, the gate node here so basically we send this a message and let's just have a quick look at it the, to the control topic is called control so we have to set the topic to control and we set it to open or close to open or close it and if it's closed then anything I send into the gate won't go out if it's open anything I send into the gate will go out now I use the gate node quite quite often in my flows so it's a very useful node to, to have a look at now we've got some logic to control the button here and if we look at the button we're setting the icon using the my icon label so we have to send it, send it a message message.myicon and the label is done by using message.topic now and the background is done by message.background and when we press the button we send the payload of open the topic of control now the topic is the one I, I'm using. I pass the topic on to the to the gate node. We don't actually use the the payload here. Okay, so let's have a, a look at the the logic. Okay, so here's the logic here. The first bit of the logic here, this bit here basically detects the init so this is going to set up the the button when we actually start the flow so we want to have it off so I'm just setting it up here to be closed state the background color is going to be red the payload is going to be closed I'm going to send this out onto the control onto the uh, gate node uh, we set the icon here and we set the topic to control because we're going to send it into the to the gate node and I return the message so none of this code down here is executed and that occurs when we actually start the flow and that's all done by the inject node here set to go off after two seconds of uh, initialization and you'll see this idea in lots of flows where you initialize the flow okay this is the logic and this is to toggle the switch on and off and it's all done by detecting the state of the of the switch now if it if the state is closed um, we set then the state to be open but we actually set the the button to be in the closed state and this is because next time when we come into here we'll go into the this state here so it's a bit counterintuitive um, a bit confusing when you first look at it um, but if it's closed we set it up to closed if it's open we set it up to be open uh, but we toggle the the state on this one here and then we store the state in the context variable if I don't toggle the state then it won't be a toggle switch um, so you need you need to do this and I say when I first did it I was a bit confused by it now I'm <coughs> using the font awesome all the awesome fonts for the for the icon you can also use the material designs for, for the for the icon now because I'm using the topic control to control the gate I also need the topic control to control the the label in the button now I'm using a temporary thing called message dot label and then in this node here I just reverse it and change it to message dot topic I change to the message dot label because if you look at the button the button also needs the message dot topic now if I wasn't using the control using it to control this gate which actually needs the topic as well then I wouldn't have to do this switch over but I would need the feedback 
so I just wouldn't need to switch it but I would need the feedback so this feedback is important for the th uh, the switch to toggle okay so that's it quite quite simple um, the logic can be a bit confusing in the in the toggle um, but if you play around it you can just play around by actually getting rid of the the state and you see what what happens when you when you do that okay uh, I'll leave it there so the flow will be available for download so you can play with it but I, I actually use this in quite a few of my my flows I also use the gate node in quite a few of my flows uh, worthwhile to have a look at and I'll try and do a, a video on that okay until next time goodbye